Okay, so hi everyone. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use split the substring and the tokar array methods. So the, the the string split method is used for splitting into its substring based on the given delimiter or the regular expressions. So let's have an example. Let's first declare a, a string variable let's say str then let's have a sample string let's say the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay so the next step is uh, we declare also a variable string uh, a variable with a data type string array so let's have a string r then let's declare it as an array then we can directly split the value of the variable str say str dot split inside the, the the parameter in the split method is a string value okay, so in the str split so we have to declare the first the, the string separator so para may split yung wong string so we will use let's say for example if we want to split it using the space so pwedeng gawing space lang yung uh, value ng sa split so it means that we are going to split the first uh, the, the spaces between the, the the value of the str so let's try uh, displaying the value for each content of the r so let's say for example for using the for loop so we have for let's say for int i equal to zero then i is less than the str i mean the r that length so it means that we're going to get the 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 length of the the array kung ilang merong element siya meron then we have to increment the i so we are going to display the the value for uh the r then r then the index so if we try to save this sample program uh, splits the the whole string into per word okay, and I split up per word if we want to limit the splitting of this string so we have to add some limit so if I put one it will be equivalent to one string so if I put two it will be two arguments or two strings so I think the first the the first string and the rest will be the two available characters For example to ang ilagay natin the the output should be uh, array with an index zero is equivalent to the and the rest the second array will be quick brown fox jumps all okay, so let's check okay so yeah this is, is the array index zero and the second string because we will limit the the value for this string so if we put three so tatlo na din yung sa string niya. okay so that's all for the split method of java let's come now using the tokar array so ito naman na method ng tokar array rin return niya yung array as arrays of characters by converting a string into sequence of characters so let's have an example if we have a string str equal to hello world let's use the hello world and then then we declare a character array is equal to say str to car array okay, then the string str will, will be now converted to a character array so if we try to access the value of each val value ng array r ito yung magiging resulta niya so for int i equal to zero then i is less than the r length so we will get again the length of the array and then increment i so we display now the value for the content of the array so r then we have the index i okay so let's try so so the, the the string hello world already cut down into character array converting to character 
array, string character array is sometimes used in manipulating strings. So say for example, if we want to reverse the the, ca the character hello world, so, so starting from the exclamation point, then sumunod ay letter D, sumunod letter L, sumunod letter R, O, N, W, and so on. So kung gusto natin siya i-reverse, so ang gagawin natin is uh, we will assign the r dot length to 0 and minus 1 kasi if let's say the value of r dot length is so 11 and since the the the, the array is always uh, n minus 1 so magma minus 1 tayo dito then the value for i we will compare it to 0 until it is negative so we will decrement the value of i and use also the the method print okay so let's try okay so yun the hello world was already in reverse that's how we use the car array so next is so we have the substring so the substring uh, ito naman is nagre return siya ng new string that is the substring of the given string kasi this substring method Eh, ginagamit yan to get the substring of a given string based on the past index. Bale, kung ano yung ginamit na index. And there are also variants of these methods in which we can use the, the substring. Okay, so for example, itong Java substring is if we have a variable str is equal to, let's say, welcome to the world of computers. Okay, so, halimbawa, yan yung string natin. And then, we have also the... We have to display and use the substring. Okay, so let's output now the value for the substring. Let's try some sample. This time, let out that print ln method. And we are going to display... Or we are going to cut a certain string dito sa uh, loob ng string na to. So, halimbawa str.substring so the the first value integer value let's say let's say ginamit natin i5 ibig sabihin the the value will start from 5 ito yung ikakat niya so 1 2 3 4 5 so magsisimula siya sa me then if we want to to cut the let's say me to the world hanggang dito yung ito yung kukunin natin na word so we will add 21 kasi the counting of the the end will be starting from w pa rin so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so pwedeng 20 na lang pagta natin gawin na lang natin 20 okay, so let's begin let's compile and run Okay, so me to the world yung naging output na. We use the substring, the car array, and the split. I hope na meron kayong natutunan. I'm using these uh, three methods in Java, string methods in Java.